SDS Aron con Anitcomputers.com, otro video para ti hoy. Customer just brought in, believe it or not, on a late Friday afternoon, close to closing hours, an Elite Book 8440-50P. It's an HP. And here's the problem. What happened was he upgraded this to Windows 10 when it was free during the free upgrade period and then a few days ago he had a problem with his computer and he bought some kind of a technical support subscription and then called somebody and they remote desktoped into his computer and then the next day he started having all kinds of problems and then he tried to restore it back to Windows he thought he was restoring maybe using system restore or trying to restore this to fix it himself and it didn't work out so well so what's happening is you're he's receiving this windows error recovery I'll move this in closer so, so that you can see it so he's receiving this error message windows error recovery windows did not shut down successfully if this was due to the system not responding or if the system was shut down to protect data you might be able to recover by choosing one of the safe mode configurations from the menu below use the arrow keys so I'm not going to troubleshoot this yet in a video I, that will be next I want to show you how to take out the hard drive because what I'm going to do is try to recover his data it's possible that instead of using Windows 10 recovery option which will re revert Windows 10 back to default back to when Windows 10 was installed he may have inadvertently deleted his data that way or he might have there's another option where you can recover Windows 10 back to Windows 7 and it, it might uh, have removed his data another problem so instead of you know spending time troubleshooting this I'm gonna quickly try to pull the hard drive and then pull his data because that's the most important thing he says he doesn't have that much in data his desktop a photograph of a family member but I'm gonna try to recover whatever I can all right, so and then I will make a set, another video and I'll I will, you know, videograph it and I will freestyle it and we'll go through the the troubleshooting. I'm not going to spend too much time on that because if I can pull his data, then I'm just going to reinstall Windows 10 cuz he told me that he successfully upgraded from Windows 7 and the laptop has the Windows 7 little sticker here. It's an it's pretty decent computer Intel i5 core. So let's power it off, and then I'm gonna unplug the power from the back. Always disconnect the power. Throw that over there, and then what I do is I also take out the battery right there. And then another thing I do is I just press in on the power button to get rid of any possible ESD electrostatic discharge so we'll just press on that for a few seconds and then that's about it also I wanted to show you this has two stickers Windows 7 professional right here I think the camera can pick that up Windows 7 professional right there and it also has another Windows 7 professional sticker for refurb PCs the reason why I'm meshing this is that with Windows 10 from my understanding you can only upgrade Windows 10 to like to like so let's say your computer was running Windows 7 home premium you can only upgrade to Windows 10 home premium if your computer had Windows 7 professional you can only upgrade to Windows 10 professional so and I have I know where to get Windows 10 for free and I just burn it to a flash drive so I already know that there's two stickers with the same so this had Windows 7 professional and so I'm gonna you know if I need to wipe it I'll just will load Windows 10 professional 
So you can save time that way instead of janking around, well, what version did it have, you know, blah, 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 blah. Just look at the stickers and just, you know, you, you need to know that. You need to know that you can only upgrade to what was originally installed. All right, so the hard drive is probably here. And there's even a little symbol. These little symbols right here, right there next to my thumb, that's the symbol of a hard drive and there's one right here so a lot of computer manufacturers they have symbols for the screws so there's two hard drive symbols here and if you noticed here there's a symbol of a keyboard for this screw not not all computer manufacturers do this but a lot do so they they label their screws with symbols which is really good as a computer repair technician that's good Here's the other keyboard. So what this helps you do is you you look for the symbols and then you unscrew those screws. If I wanted to take out the keyboard, I'd take out the screws that have the keyboard symbol. But I'm only worried about the hard drive. So we're just going to take out these two screws right here. Not not all that difficult. You know, it's just Phillips. And then we'll just take them out real quick. These might be the kind that don't fall out. You just have to loosen them. Oops. You do not want to strip them, but you know. And this will be a quicker video. And then you just pull up. They're not loose yet. I think these are the type you, that you just loosen. You don't have to. Yeah. Then just pull up. See, these are the type. See, the screws don't fall out. Now, I think if you really, really screw enough times, they'll come out, but I never do that. I like that kind of design. They're harder to lose. All right, so then this is the cover. Set that aside. Here's the hard drive. Looks like it's just one screw. It even has instructions. It's got a sticker, it's got one, two, three, and uh, some engineer, oops, some engineer must have designed this <laughs> schematic. You see it? It's got instructions. All right, so it's just one screw. And we'll, might be a good idea to use a screwdriver with a magnetic screwdriver then I think you just pull away yep just pull away a little bit and it'll come right out there it goes it just comes right out and it's SATA and that's it so I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to remove a hard drive out of a HP elite book and then it's an 8440p laptop and then obviously if you had to replace the hard drive you would take off these four screws there's a there's a housing so you take these out I'm not gonna do that take these two out take these two screws off and then just slide the replacement hard drive back into this housing and make sure it's make sure that the circuit board is facing down or the sticker is facing up and so that when you go back and reinstall it we can just do that right now all you do is just slide it back in make sure the connectors are facing the right way Let me see. And then just press. Sometimes you just set it down, set it inside, and then just push because it has to seat into the connectors. And then that's it. And then you would just screw down the screw. There's just one screw that also didn't come out. So that's good. 
I like when they design that because the, the, you won't lose these screws. And then you would just put the cover back on and there's only two screws. And they're the same type. As, as you screw down, it'll the cover will go on. And then that's it. That's how you replace a hard drive in an HP Elite Book 8440p. My next video will probably be the, the troubleshooting. I, I have to take out the hard drive. I have to slave it on my slave, my data recovery computer and try to get his data off of it. I do that first and then, then I will make my video pertaining to the troubleshooting the Windows operating system error and I might not be able to fix it, but we'll see what I can do. Adios!